Tyler Kepke with Coach Base and a quick little tutorial video on finishing around the basket. So the point that I want to talk about today is what I call chinning the ball and playing with strength right in front of you here and letting the ball lead you. What happens too many times, especially with young players, is when they're attacking full speed, they bring the ball in to do their layups. A lot of times you might see them swing it or they bring it into their chest and then they're trying to get it up to finish. What, what, end up, what ends up happening, which I'm sure a lot of you have seen, is someone comes down in the middle full speed, looks like they have an easy layup and they come and they fire it off the backboard and the ball bounces all the way at the free throw line. The reason this happens is because they're keeping the ball in tight, they're trying to get it up, and they end up arming the ball, almost shot putting it off the backboard, as opposed to picking it up strong, chinning it, getting it up, and it being all wrist and fingertips. Now to give you an idea of what I mean by shot putting the basketball, is it looks something like this. I'm coming down the court, let's say I beat my man, I'm coming down full speed, looks like I have a straight on easy layup, and as I'm coming, I'm running full speed. I pick the ball up low in my stomach. I try and get it up. I shot put it from low extent and the ball hits the backboard way too hard and has no chance of going in. That's what we don't want. What we want is that when you're coming down the middle full speed and you're gathering to get into your layup, I pick it up here nice and strong. I'm here nice and strong. Now I have body control. Now I can get my momentum going up instead of out. And secondly, I have the ball here, so when I'm up there, it's an easy finish. So what it looks like, is I'm coming full speed, I pick it up right here, up, finish. Okay, so I just wanted to briefly explain a couple advantages to playing with it here strong, chinning the basketball as we go into our finishes, as opposed to keeping it in tight. Now, there might be certain circumstances where keeping it in tight you have to do, but the majority of the time, in my opinion, you don't. You should always pick it up strong and play through here and let the ball lead you. The reason being is, number one, if I have the ball in tight and someone reaches in, it might be hard for the ref to even see a foul, number one. Number two, if I have the ball in tight when I'm picking it up and they do call a foul, I can't get the ball up from here to even give myself a chance to get a three-point play. So if I have the ball here and I'm playing with force, nice and strong, moving it across, chinning it before I finish, if someone reaches in, nine times out of 10, the ref's gonna see this, a hack across the arm. And secondly, even if I get hacked across the arm but I have the ball out here, I still have a chance to flick it up and get the ball on the rim for a possible three-point play. Everyone knows Manny Ginobili, if you watch Manu, every time he's slicing through the lane, whether he's Euro stepping or finishing, he keeps the ball right here as he finishes. And every time someone reaches in, foul, and he has a chance for a three-point play. Okay, now I'm gonna show you two really simple drills to work on chinning the basketball and playing with force. The first one is a drill that we used to do at Utah every day before practice. It's called the stride and glide. Okay, so the stride and glide, very basic drill. All you're gonna do is you're gonna be low, athletic position. You're gonna keep the ball in front of you. Arms bent right here. This is where our movement is. We wanna let the ball lead us as we cover ground with our steps. So like it says, stride and glide. So in here, one, two. Keeping the ball up, staying low, covering as much ground as I can. Okay. The reason why we do this is one, if I can get in the habit of picking up and striding into my layup, I have much more control on my gather going into my finish. Okay, so the second drill that I'm gonna show you is what I call the stride and glide into a finish. So all it is, is you're gonna start roughly on the wing. You're gonna spin the ball out into the middle of the paint. You're gonna run full speed, gather and pick it up without traveling on the correct footwork. Stride and glide into your finish. Now the point of this drill is to try and spin the ball further and further away from the basket. So each time you stride and glide, you're covering more and more ground. So as you saw me demonstrating the stride and glide into a finish, I wasn't even going that far, but I was picking the ball up almost at the free throw line with no dribble and being able to finish and get to the rim and finish off in two steps. Why? Because I'm striding and gliding, letting the ball lead me, swinging it out, playing with force, and then finishing with wrist and fingertips. So just want to recap everything. 
that we did, we just focused on our striding glide and finishing and why it's important to chin the basketball and play with force, which will now lead us into our next video, which will be focused on the Euro step. But before we can do that, you have to have the foundation of stride and glide and chinning the basketball.